Guys, oh, look how many of you today. Good morning. Some new faces. Lovely. All right, Laura, come on up. Can you see the book? All right, it's one of those fun ones. I have, have you, maybe some of you even have it at home. Anybody recognize it? It's an old book, but you still might have it because this was from my childhood. It even had my name on the inside cover. It was my Bible friends. Uh oh, we got, um, hang on here. Hand it to me and I'll go drop it off for you. Thank you. I'll make sure that gets to where it needs to go. Yeah, he did good. All right. Have you ever had, um, how many of you have school coming up? Anybody going to start school? I start school Monday. Summer's over for me. How many of you start school maybe the following week even? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the next week after that. And then some of you might not be school age yet. Enjoy it. Okay, but I have, when you go to school, you make friends, right? So let me start at the beginning of the story. It looks like I skipped a page. Daniel and his friends. Okay, can you see? Everybody is close enough to see. If you, if you need to move closer, you can move a little closer to see the picture. It's um, noontime in the city of Jerusalem, and Daniel and his friends are headed home for lunch. When they heard the sound, tahi, 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 it was the sound of a ram's horn trumpet. At every day in Jerusalem, their city, there was a call that goes out morning, noon, and evening. Tahi, tahi, tahi. And what it meant, it was time to stop and pray. So everybody would stop. They would face the temple, and they would pray to God. And when their heads were bowed, they would just pray to the Lord in heaven. Hi, ladies. When Daniel got home, they had good lunch. They had some really good, healthy food. It was called pulse in those days. And that means pulse is food like beans and vegetables and rice. And he would eat with his family, and pulse would help him grow tall. Pulse would help him grow strong. And pulse would make him get good grades in school. They lived in the city of Jerusalem, which was a very safe spot to live. It had a big wall that went around the city. And there's watchmen on the wall. And the watchmen on the wall would say, first watch, all is well. Later on, you would hear during the day, second watch, all is well. Third watch, all is well. But one day, all was not well. An army came marching towards Jerusalem. And it was a little scary. Men on the mounted walls and boys climbed ropes. They could see the dust in the distance coming into the city. And they thought, okay, we got big walls around our city. We are safe. But they weren't safe enough. Because after a while, the army broke through the walls big rock-throwing machines, and they took the city. And crash, crash, things went down. And the army of Babylon came in, and the soldiers took things out of the temple. They trashed the city really badly. 
and they took captures. They captive the boys. Daniel and his friends were taken to as captives, prisoners, and they marched. It was a long walk, step, step, step. Miles and miles they were hauled away from Jerusalem. They did not stay close to the city at all. They kept marching and marching. Ladies, I'm going to have to have you sit up for me, please. And they marched on till they got to the city of Babylon. The king of Babylon brought the um, yeah. The king of Babylon sat on his royal th throne while the soldiers paraded prisoners before him. The king of the captain of the army said, Choose boys among the prisoners, good looking ones, godly ones. Give them food and drink from my table and give them my wine to drink. They shall go to the school for three years to learn all of the wisdom of Babylon. That evening, Daniel and his friends talked together. We cannot eat the king's food, said Daniel. It's been offered to idols. And to besides, the king's food isn't really good for you to eat. We can't even, we don't want to drink the king's wine either. It's going to clog our minds. What shall we do, the boys ask in whispers? Well, Daniel thought, and he made a plan. He went to the king's advisor, and he said, let's ask Melchars to give us pulse to eat and water to drink instead of the king's food and wine. It was a good plan. So Daniel and his friends went to Prince Melzar. They bowed politely, and Melzar said, No, if the king should see you looking thinner than the other boys, and he learned that I gave you the pulse and water, he might even cut my head off. No, I don't want that to happen. And Daniel said, Please let us do it for 10 days, just 10 days. Melzer, okay, for 10 days only. And if we, you're not looking as healthy as everybody else, then you're eating the king's food. So Daniel didn't, and his friends did something else. They were far, far away from home. But, and there was no sound that was going to he, to he. But they still paused three times a day to pray. It became their habit. And morning, noon, and night, Daniel would open his window and look towards Jerusalem, and he prayed to the God of heaven. He asked God to bless the pulse and the water, and please let it make them strong, so that Melzer might know that pulse and water were better for boys than the king's food and wine. When ten days had passed, Prince Melzer called all the boys and he found that Daniel and his friends were fairer. They were fatter than the boys who ate the king's food and drank the king's wine. So ever during the three years of school, Prince Melzer allowed Daniel and his friends to eat pulse and to drink water. One year went by. Two years went by. Three years went by and they were brought back before the king. And when Daniel and his friends were presented, they had grown taller. They had grown, but had they grown wiser? Well, King tested them out, and he ended up finding that Daniel and his friends, after asking question after question, were ten times wiser than all the other boys in Babylon because they had stuck to praying to God and eating the right things for their body and not drinking the wine. It's pretty amazing what you can do if you allow yourself to follow God's rules. And he said, your body is the temple of God. So whatever you put into it, 
Make sure you put things that are good for your body. All right, you can head back to your seats now.